Howdy, folks. Zograx here. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, it's been a while, baby. Oh, you gotta love the music. Okay. I'm just gonna turn that off. <clears throat> Forewarned is forearmed. Oh. oh, goodness, it's good to be back. Playing a new game. We're playing on balanced. Let's go. What? Uh, sure. Have access. So, uh, let's just clarify. As the, uh... Well, you know what? Okay, so some of you may have seen this before. I've seen this before. I've done three or four playthroughs in my first... In, in, in early access. I have held off playing on the uh the updated like the full full release until i actually had time to play and it has been oh i've been itching i've been itching to play so i'm i'm, I'm hype i'm very hyped for this so i've seen this before but i'm gonna let it play out because some people might not have done and hey if you're watching any new um if you're on youtube because this will be up to youtube um do please like subscribe if you're not already if you're new here on twitch Go ahead, give me a follow, because I'm going to keep playing this. A lot. A lot, a lot. I've been waiting for this, man. I had only 120, 130 hours in pre-release, like early access stuff. Um, several run-throughs uh, in full on my YouTube channel. Um, I got a couple of people to the end of early access. Uh, but then I took a break from, like, May until now. This is so gross. Um... Took a break from May of last year until now, because I felt like I'd got enough out of the early access stuff. I didn't feel the need to just play it to experience some new characters, that sort of thing. Um, if you're squeamish, look away now. It's about to get icky. Also, I have an upgraded monitor now. This is much bigger. <laughs> Way grosser. Ugh. Who are you? Okay. So, uh, character creation. Here we go. Uh, I will say, first off, my plan was... I had a couple of different of my pre-existing characters that I've, I've played um, in actual tabletop before. Uh, Zograx, after whom the channel is named. My uh, Dragonborn Paladin. I will play at some point, for sure. Uh, he's Oath of Devotion, so it's all perfect, and it'll be amazing to transform that character onto this. But because my brother, um, Siberius, has a... Uh, ooh. Ooh, getting some uh, some frame rate issues there. Okay, don't like that. Let me adjust my settings here real quick. So, as I was saying, uh, I will be playing Zelgrax at some point. I also was tempted to play Colas. Colas is the name of my very first... Um, D and D character, it's a uh, human ranger, and had a lot of fun playing him. However, I'm decided to go a different route. And we're going to be bringing back one of my other very popular characters. I think it's safe to say. Um, we're going to be playing as Rod Rubble Spot Lily Wicket. She is a rock gnome. So we get dark vision, artificial lore, lovely. Um, and then racial, you get slightly slower speed and gnome cunning advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. That's amazing. Um, we're not going to be a wizard. We're going to be a wizard. So <clears throat> I couldn't find her character sheet, which really makes me annoyed. Uh, I, I do have it around somewhere. But she is 479 years old. Basically, about as old as you can be as a gnome. And, um... She kind of was a bit cloistered for a while. I don't know why I can't change... Oh, I can change them in a sec. Okay. Uh... So yes, we're going to be a wizard. Um... Cantrips. Uh, we definitely want firebolt. Think about mage hand. And I'm trying to think... 
of the companions who I would likely be bringing. And I think it's probably going to be, um, you can't see my stats right now. Let me... Oh, that's the wrong thing to grab. Um, let me... Whoop. I'm going to try this over here temporarily. And we'll see if that... Wait, no, that's going to get in the way for combat. You know what? Never mind. We're just going to leave it up there. And, in fact, what I'll do is I'll hide the camera when we're looking at the stats. Um, okay. Major hand, I believe no. No, no. Uh, I don't think we need light. Prevents healing on next turn is actually kind of cool. Do we take that instead of firebolt? No, she took firebolt. That that's accurate. And I like to be accurate. Are we still dropping frames? Are we really? I'm gonna try and keep tabs on that. Um I mean, maybe light's not a bad thing to have. Because I'm not planning on bringing Gale as a result of having a wizard, right? It doesn't make sense to double up. And I want, I want, um, variety here. Maybe, maybe friends? A sick friends. Okay, spell-wise. I'm just going to remove them all and then add them back in. Definitely want magic missile. Um, that's interesting. It's a bonus action. I'm gonna take Tasha's. I will take Shield. We'll take Find Familiar. She had a, an owl called Carruthers. Historically, uh, I think I want Greece. I'm contemplating taking Longstrider. Because isn't it a ritual? And ritual spells are crazy. Maybe I don't have rituals yet. Um, she did have Burning Hands, I think. It is good to have Shield. Oh, no, we need mage armor. For sure. Um, I think I'm going to drop shield. False life is actually kind of amazing. I'm a big fan of false life. The seven points. So that's seven hit I mean, that's almost double her health right there. Uh, Thunder wave is kind of amazing. I forgot how hard this is. But long strider. And maybe I can change that out later, actually. Okay, what do we have? Let's concentration, not you. You are concentration. We could probably stand to have one more concentration then as an option. I do like Witch Bolt. Sky self is not concentration either. I don't know why, I assumed it would be. Chromatic Orb seems amazingly powerful and is in keeping. Um, she was a sage. Uh, let's clear. Okay, so we know we want intelligence. Let's go ahead, put that as a 50 and put a plus one there. I'm pretty sure she had, like, 
That was a good con too. Then we definitely wouldn't mind some decent decks from a... Um... Uh, an armor class point of view. What's this? Initiative. Okay. Hit points is up to nine now. That's not too bad. And then maybe Charisma? Yes. I think that, that fits. Um... And then what mage armor? Fine familiar. Chromatic orb and I guess Grease for now. I mean I do like magic missile and hideous laughter. But I think Grease There's so many things that Grease is good for. So now let's edit the appearance. Okay. First of all, maturity, like whale. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Be wary. This place it took more of those wretched things. No. She has a voice. And it's a bit like this. And they don't have one of those. There's... Where to next? We'll just go with this for now, I suppose. Um, right. Uh no scarring, I don't think. Probably no freckles. What's uh no, I don't think she would have that. That's fine. No body art. Eyes. Just green is fine. Makeup would be limited, I suspect. Hair. Okay, I need something probably uh, curly. That's that's too curly. <clears throat> I know that's quite low res, but we're we're powering through to keep our frames up right now. And I'm going to have to tweak some settings, probably. <clears throat> um, it's probably brown with some gray. It's a lot of gray. Let's, let's change that to something like this. She doesn't look nearly old enough, I can tell you that right now. Um if I there's a hairstyle I prefer. I don't No, I feel like she'd probably be in the sort of medium length hair. Uh weirdly I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Uh, there will be no facial hair, no tattoos, no piercings. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. But, no. And then we can change our name here. Oh. Okay, we'll go with her. This is how most people refer to her anyway. Madam Lily Wicket. Um, okay. And um, I spoke with my, my buddy. Um, and the character that he played yeah, probably high off um, was uh, Good luck. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. I was very young. Probably a little, a little freckled. Uh, it's fine. Probably a little bit more makeup. Not that much. A little, just smoky eye. Um, he was a very sweet, very innocent young elf that um that madame lily wicket sort of took under her arms basically under her wing uh i need to get rid of this graying oh it's not the graying it's the highlights or is it just the light it was just the light being weird okay 
Um, so I think we're just going to go with this, honestly. Um, this is a reasonable approximation of, uh, of Luna. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, okay. I think we can venture forth. Well, let me just check out one more time. Looking for young L. Unfortunately, uh, my buddy couldn't really remember her description very well. We'll go with this. Uh, yeah, she was a, uh, a ranger. Ranger? Or was she an arcane archer? I don't remember now. He definitely played an arcane archer. I don't know if that was Luna. Maybe have been someone else. Alright, let's dive back in. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thank you for watching. Um... Well, well, we'll let this play out, actually. And then we'll pick up. So, uh, character creation. We have our 479-year-old gnome. Um, she's actually really from Candlekeep, but I think they're going to make her Baldurian, because I think that's just what the game does. Um, and, yes, yeah, so she... Is that too loud? feel like that's too loud. I'm going to pull that back a lot. Because I felt very loud. Um, so yes, she um, spent a lot of time in her youth pulling in with her own crowds. And so she set out to make amends. And, uh, oh man, this is amazing to watch. I forgot how much I enjoyed this game. And I have been watching like other people's playthroughs. And it, it's been spectacular to watch. I love it. That's so loud on my end. Hopefully I've got this volume set well now. I'm a little worried about that. Um, but yeah. She she made some mistakes. Uh, fell in with the wrong crowd. And um, I'm going to take an ear off because that's crazy loud. And now she's looking to fix those mistakes. So she's back out adventuring after spending a long time working in the, uh, the library in Candlekeep. And um, she basically had spent so long out of the game that she is retraining as a wizard. But that's kind of the, the logic here between having in, in having such an old character. Love these dragons. Oh, my heart. Uh, that's the logic in having a such an old character as uh, the PC. Um, and I mean, we played for months and months and months with these characters, and so fun playing such a, an unusual character. So I'm looking forward to, I'm, I'm really enjoying the idea of bringing her to life here. Just hit the microphone, apologies. So good. I suspect we might see her again. We definitely seem to have got over the framey issues. Prefer to have the quality better. We'll see if we can maybe go up to the medium and maintain the frames. That would be fine with me. Because we changed the res so that by dropping the resolution we might have fixed that problem. <clears throat> I'm going to try and go through the first little bit very quickly so that I can... Uh, you know, dive back into the new stuff, really. We're in hell. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think I've played a wizard in Baldur's Gate 3. 
Um, okay, so thank you for watching. That was character creation and uh, pre-prologue. We will be picking up. Oh, is that framey? No, that was just shaky. Just double checking my frames real quick. I'm so paranoid now. It seems to be operating fine still. Just sort of looking around. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. Again, um, if you're not already, do please um, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, so you can keep up with this as it goes along. And uh, we'll pick up in the next one. Bye for now.